What is going on, YouTube? PPS back here this morning. It is the 19th. It is Tuesday, uh, April 19th here, about 10 o'clock um, here at Central Time. Repping the crew. Big game today. Corbin Burns on the bump. Uh, coming up against the Pirates tonight. Hopefully we can continue to get this winning streak going. Um, we get closer to that futures bet that we have going as well. So if you guys could, before we get started, drop a like. Um, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate every single one of you guys, all the new people popping on and joining us. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, yesterday, Wander Franco got real, got scratched like 30 minutes before the game. So mine um, wiped completely. Um, I know some people, I don't know if your books allowed that to void and then refunded you or how it worked there. But, yeah, Franco didn't play. Um, so, yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, he was rolling, man. Two Ks first inning, third one, only 30 pitches in there. And then just got absolutely annihilated with four Ks, obviously. Um, did have a little bit sprinkled on the three and a half because it did move down. I believe I saw it at like 135 on Bovada. Um, so I had that one as well. But obviously for us, that was an L. Brunson, I believe, cash like almost in the third quarter or almost in the first half. Um, with that over 32 and a half points, rebounds, assists, I believe he hit that on only points. He dropped a 40 piece guys. This should have been a max play. That was man. That was easy money, easy money. So, um, one and one on past the prop and, uh, we got our void one there on our Franco bet. So back to it today, three spots, a little bit weird spots today. You guys have seen me on some overs. I'm going to some unders today. Um, first off though, I am going to do these, um, sporadically. I'll probably do it today. Again, I'm going to be dropping. Um, I always ask what's your best bet of the day. And today, um, I do have a winner here. Who's going to win a, a couple days. I'll give them till Friday. Um, free plays in our, in our VIP chat. Dan Tomlin comes through with a plus 200 winner yesterday. Um, in the comments underneath, uh, my best bet offer. He ends up getting three free days of VIP. I'll be sending him that. So make sure you DM me, Dan. I know I see you tw uh, quite a bit on Twitter. Make sure you DM me. Um, we'll get you that free couple days, and you'll be in. Uh, come and check out what we're like over there um, on the Telegram chat. So congrats to Dan. Always putting out some fun stuff out on the channel. Um, I appreciate you, man. All right. Now what you guys came for. Now what you guys came for. All right. Let's start out here. Let's start off with NBA. I have one NBA, two MLB props. Um, and we're going to roll with John Morant over 37 and a half points assist. Yes, I know it's getting pretty high. I hit this at 34 and a half um, VIP on our first game. He had 40. Um, and I don't see a reason why we don't get there again. Um, the reason is, is John Morant, obviously he's coming off the injury, blah, 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 all that. Played 35 minutes, 32 points, eight assists. Um, he's averaging 34 points assists on the season and a little bit over 32 minutes per game. Um, and he only played 35 minutes in that game. He had to 40. Um, in game one, looking at his by 40 numbers, right? Points by uh, per 40 minutes, assists per 40 minutes. Um, in those 40 minutes, he would be averaging 33.1 points, 8.1 assists. Um, I would be surprised if he doesn't play close to 40 minutes in this game. Should be seeing at 38 to 40 at least. Uh, this is a must win game. You cannot go down 2 0 here, especially against a feisty Timberwolves team who are very good at home. Uh, you got to get this one. You got to even up the series and give yourself a chance here. Um, so I expect him to play a little bit more minutes than he did in the first game even. Um, and, he, and he did shoot pretty well, 44% from the field, 8 for 18. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised to see more shots from him um, as well. We're seeing a huge bump in usage this year, 35% for Ja. Um, and, and just everything there coming together, I, I don't see him saying under this. Memphis is in a must-win spot. We saw it yesterday with Jokic. He just took a lot more shots than usual. Um, where Jokic is into that passing, so I'm moving the ball around. We might see Draw drop 40 points. Um, but obviously, if he's scoring that much, they're probably going to double or try to kick, make him kick it. And I, I like the ability for him to get 10 assists. Um, tw then I only need 28 points. I like him to have the ability to score 40 points, and we still cash this number. So I um, really like Jaw tonight. Um, over 37 and a half points assists. Um, I found that one, I believe on FanDuel was this morning at 37 and a half there. So go lock that one in. Definitely really like that spot tonight. Um, obviously great pace, great matchup. Um, and he's hit that in his only spot this time against the Wolves here. So 
that's going to be our NBA play for the day. And, and let's get on to some MLB again. Please drop a like, guys. I really appreciate it. It helps us out a ton over here. Um, and on to number two. Jesus Lazardo under five and a half strikeouts, Miami Marlins. I know, guys, this is this is tough. You look in his box score, he had 12 strikeouts in his first game. Why would you be going to his under if it's only half, right? He only needs to do half, right? Jesus Lazardo played against the Angels, right? Angels are the fourth highest strikeout rate team in the MLB right now. They were number one um, up until two days ago, and I, I don't remember who passed them, but um, I believe the the Padres passed them. They were playing the Dodgers, had some good ones. Uh, but, yeah, the Angels were actually leading the MLB in strikeouts for uh, a couple days there. Um, and now he has to face the Cardinals at home. Uh, Cardinals are very, very tough to K, guys. Very, very tough to K. Um, they're the second lowest strikeout rate team behind only the Kansas City Royals being lower, um, which who would have thought that, right? Kansas City would be the lowest strikeout rate team. But fourth highest rate down to the second lowest rate. Playing a team here that does hit pretty well off of lefties, and we've seen it already, just the ability um, for the Cardinals to make contact on high-end pitchers. Brandon Woodruff, five innings, two strikeouts. Freddie Peralta, three innings, four strikeouts. Um, they've even had Hauser only have three Ks against them there as well, or four Ks. Um, Lazardo only threw 76 pitches in that first game. He was extremely, extremely efficient, 15 outs, 12 strikeouts, that, that is absurd. That is Rodon numbers, and he is not a Rodon strikeout guy by any means. I'm looking into last year's number with Lazardo here. Early on in the season, he actually usually struggles. Um, man, um, April and May, he's sitting around 300 average against. Um, but what I really like to see last year was he gave up a 557 slugging percentage to the right-handed batters. That's not something I really want to see from a guy here who's going to be going up against Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, Tyler O'Neill? Like those are some high end power bats here. Um, you have a lot of switch hitters. Um, obviously there are some lower end guys at the bottom with a uh, Yachty not playing right now. Um, so there's a couple spots for K's, but it's, it's tough, especially if we're going to have base runners, especially if we're going to have action. These guys like to run. You got Tommy Edmond here. O'Neill steals a lot of bases. Goldschmidt's runs quite a bit for a big guy. Um, definitely going to put pressure on you, um, for sure. Um, so I don't expect it to be that big of a boost up for him, right? This whole year, like there's no way he bounced up that much, um, to be striking out elite numbers like that. Um, obviously I think he's a great pitcher. This is just a very, very tough matchup. Um, there's just not many open spots here for a free strikeout without the pitchers there too. Um, and uh, at home last year, he was averaging about one strikeout per inning. Um, so I don't know if I'd, I'd take him to go six innings here. Lazardo's usually been a guy who walks quite a few guys as well. Um, so definitely could see that. Um, last year at home, he walked a guy about every other inning. So that's pretty high there for a whip percentage too. So rolling with Jesus Lazardo under five and a half strikeouts today, minus 110 versus the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, guys, first 1.5 unit play I've had in a couple days. Um, and I really like it. Spot I usually did never – I never really thought I'd go here, but we're here and, and we're going. All right. Robbie Ray under 7.5 Ks, minus 120. Um, I saw minus 128 on Bet Rivers. I saw plus 100 on Caesars. Um, so if you want to go over on Caesars, I believe that's where um, – or MGM was plus 100 as well. Um, I'm going off FanDuel because that's the one I have. So – um, there is better lines out there. So go make sure you line shop. I just don't have account account with those guys. Um, so Robbie Ray only had nine swinging strikes in his last outing swings and misses, um, versus the Chicago white Sox. Um, white Sox are, are obviously notoriously known for being good against left-handed pitchers. So that one, I, I give him a little bit, I give him a little bit of leeway, but what I don't give him a little bit of leeway on is just his ability right now. Um, for his velo to be coming back. I don't know where it is, right? Um, Robbie Ray is a strikeout machine. He is. I, I mean, I back him all the time. I loved him last year. Going against the Rangers, though, fourth lowest K rate early on this season. Ra um, Robbie's fastball is down three miles per hour from last season, and his slider's down two and a half miles per hour. That is unbelievable. That's a huge, huge dig digression there. Slider is his out pitch. That's his best pitch 
Everybody knows that's what's going to when there's two strikes. That's how he's going to put you away, right? People are batting 313 on that pitch this year um, with a 324 expected batting average. So they should even be getting higher, right? Even better swings, right? Um, the slider whiff percentage is down 25% from 48 to 23. And um, put away percentage is down 50% from 28 to 14. Robbie Ray isn't getting those swings and misses that he usually is getting. That's obviously to do with, sorry, I had a weird little thing in my throat there. His fastball right now is 91.9. Last year it was 94.8, right? An expected batting average of 243 last year on his fastball. It's 280 this year. I mean, the slider was unhittable last year, 173. People batting 313. I mean, it was it's unbelievable. There, there's just so much hard contact. This Rangers lineup is tough. Obviously, there are power bats, so there are swings and misses in this lineup. But Seeger, Simeon, Garcia, right? There's a lot of good hitters in this lineup. And I think they could make it pretty tough for Robbie Ray here. Um a lot of power right-handed bats, too. Corey Seager, obviously, it's lefties extremely, extremely well. He's got a 4.73 ERA already this year. Um, I just don't see them with all the money they put into him. Um, rolling him out there for 100, 110 pitches. Um, I, I expect him to be around that five, six-inning mark. Probably worked into counts on a lot of these guys. We saw against Jose Barrios the ability for this team just to just slap balls and play, work the deep counts. Um, and I think I see the exact same thing happening today to Robbie Ray. So I'm going with two unders today. All right, John Morant, over 37 and a half points assists. Jesus Lazardo under five and a half Ks. And Robbie Ray, under seven and a half Ks, guys. 1.5 unit on that one. So thank you guys so much. Again, if you guys want to enter those contests that I do, just, just hit the comment section below. Um, and uh, we'll I'll pick a winner um, tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can take home some free VIP plays for us. Um, and I'm very, very excited for today's slate. So thank you guys so much. Best of luck on all your bets today. Um, good luck if you're betting NBA, MLB, some soccer this morning, whatever you're betting. Best of luck. Make some money. Take that bookie money. Um, have a good one, guys, and have a great